Welcome to the top five sports callers of the week. Number five. We start with Clint from Arlington, Texas, who called into the Sean and RJ show on 105.3, the fan in Dallas, to tell the guys he's sick of Rangers fans complaining about the new ballpark plans. I am sick of already. I know we still got six months to go, but I'm already sick of opponents of the Rangers' new ballpark and uh, sick of people that don't want to pay the pay their taxes uh it's not a new tax really it's an extension of the half cent sales tax in arlington for cowboys stadium and if you're a resident of arlington like i am and you don't want to pay that half cent sales tax just go shop in mansfield or grant or grand prairie or fort worth <laughs> it's not that hard to figure out but people just can't look long term anymore and i mean it's just really i've gotten into some uh, twitter battles on it and it's really eating me up guys Good call. Number four. Dave from Manitoba, Canada, joined Alex Dono on 560 WQAM in Miami to discuss his Raptors failing to beat the Cavs. Um, I'm sorry to say that my beloved Raptors couldn't pull it out. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, it's terrible. But I'm all, you know, I'm all in right now and being a Warrior fan, trying to hopefully get a little redemption against King James. And, uh, you know, I have blown out my, my, my ACL in a, in a vicious curling tournament. <laughs> and, ooh, it's, it's painful, man. It's painful, I tell you. But I've been drinking a lot of Labatt's and, uh, you know, uh, trying to get by. My Velociraptors couldn't pull it out. I'm hoping for the best against LeBron. I don't want them to win. And uh, go Blue Jays. <laughs> yes. That might be my favorite call. It. Number three. Ryan from Denton, Texas, hopped on to the Texas Rangers post-game show telling the guys he's tired of Sean Tolleson. What's worse, staying up till 12.30 to watch the Rangers lose or watching Sean Tolleson pitch after eight and a half innings? Mm. It doesn't matter because they're both going to suck. I need Tolleson to slide in the second real hard for Odor during practice. That way maybe Rugi can knock some fits into him. Mm. That's all I got. I'll hang up and listen. <laughs> I don't know how I can follow that up, Ryan. Uh, well done. Hey, uh, that's a salute to Ryan there. Appreciate the call. <laughs> Number two. Comedian Frank Caliendo joined Bull and Fox on 92.3, the fan in Cleveland, to do an impression of Morgan Freeman predicting the NBA Finals. Frank Caliendo here in studio with us on the fan. i ask you one question as Morgan Freeman. Yeah. Will the Cavaliers win a championship? Ah, uh, yes. I truly believe that the Cleveland Cavaliers are ready to do it. LeBron James and company are going to devastate the Golden State Warriors. I'm going to say in six games. Wait, let's make it five. <laughs> that was great. Number one. The top spot goes to Anthony from Stowe, Ohio, who joined the Ken Carmen show with Anthony Lima on 92.3 The Fan in Cleveland to say he'd rather have faced the Thunder than the Warriors in the finals. Hell no. I, I'm shocked. For everybody out there that prefers to play Golden State, you're all a bunch of idiots, every single one of you. We had an opportunity <laughs> to play an inexperienced, heartless Oklahoma City team on our home court, guys, home court advantage, and we all know how important that's been throughout the playoffs. But we're worried about redemption. We're worried about, you know, retribution. We're stupid. Cleveland fans are freaking stupid. I'm so sick of it. Oh, come we, on. Don't be like that. It, it don't be, yeah. don't, don't, you don't need to be nasty about it, all Anthony. Right. Don't be this, stupid this, about this, being nasty about it. This is what I'm telling you guys. Okay, the hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not going to run you off. Shut you up please? for a second. For the love of Shut God, Anthony. the hell All right. Up. They've been together. You're talking about Kevin Durant and, and Russell Westbrook, who have been together now for, I think, six years. So they're not inexperienced. They've been to a finals before. And the second part of it is that if they were to beat the Golden State Warriors, you're really going to call that group heartless? Really? Um, guys, look. You stop Steph Curry, you got Klay Thompson. You stop Klay Thompson, you got Andre Iguodala, who was MVP last year in the finals. You stop those three, you got space. You got Draymond Green. This team's got Nick Barnes, guys that are hitting threes left and right. Now, like you said, yeah, we got the greatest guy on the court. There's no doubt about that. But yep. J.R. Smith, like you mentioned, if you get J.R. Smith on a good night, guys, we don't have J.R. Smith. Anthony, I'm going to do this to you with love. I'm going to have him do it to you with love. Oh, 
Charles Spades played six minutes last. Tune in every week to hear the wildest callers and the wittiest banter as CBS Local Sports brings you the top five sports callers of the week. 